My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to RimWorld. We're continuing on our Let's Play series in the Feralish Jungle. And a few things have happened between episodes that you may be able to spot straight away. The first thing is the dog that we were dog-sitting for a few days has now departed. The shuttle came to collect them. And as promised in return, we received six units of Glitter World Medicine, which have gone into our stockpile here. I have also started work on a ideogram, which is going into this little cave area that we've been excavating all this compact steel from. And that's because, as I said in the last episode, and maybe past few episodes, I would like to start doing more with the ideology side of things in this series. And I think this is a good starting point. Other than that, there hasn't been much that's happened between episodes. We were offered a quest, which I will show you here. Shelter for an ally. And this is uh, Amy Bush, the Prime Secretary of Ember. Wants us to host her friend, Bertha Poopy Rose, uh, for a couple of days. Uh, 12 days to be exact. She does appreciate quality accommodation. Not sure if we have the accommodation to hit that requirement of the three rewards for doing this we could have a silent neuroformer a colonist named roy to join or 20 units or 20 points of goodwill with the faction if we look at roy this is her biography she's 18 years old a female has the too smart trait and the wimp trait and in terms of her skill set, she's very high on the old crafting there. And she has a burning passion for crafting. Also quite handy at medical, mining and cooking as well. But she is a member of a different ideology. The Harmony Commune, as we can see. I don't think that we have any colonists as part of this ideology. So that's something we probably want to bear in mind we do have three days to consider and make a decision before the quest timer expires so we'll sit on it for now but having the extra colonist would come in handy it would share the cooking uh, the cooking workload with Garcia and there's obviously the, the crafting and mining as well would come in handy the other thing we've done off camera is I've buried three of the four corpses from the raiding party in the last episode and the feralist corpse has been removed and the spike trap has been reset. That was all done safely overnight, courtesy of James, and that's why he's now asleep because he was up all night resetting the spike traps and burying three of the four raiders who were left dumped in the little atrium whatever you want to call this little area that we've got set up so yes today in this episode i would like to focus on the ideology as best as possible obviously that is dependent on the goodwill of randy random so james has become the target of a jungle isk it's only a small one as we can see james what are you doing okay so you're hauling some steel and you're going to work on this grave well, I've got a feeling you're going to be okay. Yes, just in time. So the grave has been dug. So let's bury the colonist here. I also noticed another junglist has taken an interest in James. So it's going to be another trap that needs resetting. Okay, so that's just a quest expiry there. And once again, the, the traps leave it quite late before they actually do take down the junglisk. What I'm going to do at this moment is just disallow access to the junglisk corpses. We don't need them. There we go. And the insect meat and chitin is just hogging valuable space in our stockpile zone from the previous one that we butchered. So We also had the notification that we have a couple of travelers passing on through these are from the tribe of ember another junglisk has taken an interest in james i'm not sure which one it is either way james is now safely back inside so we should be okay 
there go the travellers now, just passing by the outer perimeter of our base as it currently stands. I think what we'll do is we'll disallow use of that door once again, just to keep everybody perfectly safe. Steel reserves looking good. Obviously, this has not been hauled to the stockpile yet, but it's all ready to go. And this steel ore vein has almost been fully mined out, as we can see. Just about eight tiles left to go. Once that's done, we can start work on this, and we'll probably turn this. We'll excavate it a bit more to get it nice and symmetrical, but this will probably become some sort of chapel or place of worship for our ideology which i believe is the undivided collective let's just double check yes it is the other thing i've just looked over here and noticed as well the volcanic winter did end off camera it lasted for about a day or two between episodes so everything has returned back to normal in terms of plant cultivation and growth so we should be well away on that front in terms of food we're doing pretty pretty well we've got plenty reserves of rice which doesn't spoil for over a month and we've still got the corn on hand as well and we've got plenty of ready prepared meals thanks to Garcia back in what will become our chapel our three colonists are working hard to excavate the final chunks of steel as we can see once that's done we'll get one of them to construct this ideogram and then we can start playing about with the ideology aspect of Rimworld there we go so that's now done so Python if you want to start working on that the insect meat that we harvested from the jungle stuff camera has rotted away no concerns about that wasn't going to use it for anything anyway except perhaps kibble if we were to have some animals but we don't so I'm not going to mourn its passing. In terms of research, we're currently researching statues. We did finish Warbow off camera, and the next one we've selected is statues. So, as we can see, Garcia and Leslie are hard at work there. James is just doing a bit of cleaning around the place, which is always useful. This ideogram does take quite a bit of work, as we can see. We're almost on the top row of the progress bar. We still have over 100 units of work left to do before it's fully constructed. Any sort of construction botching at this stage would be very, very annoying. But I think Python has it all under control. There we go. So now that we have this, we can perform some of these various activities. However, we need to nominate colonists to certain roles within the ideology which you can't do yet because I believe you need a minimum of three colonists to be able to do that so we do need to work on converting somebody now I did have an idea and it would be a bit of a a backwards move almost or a it, it, it'd be a move that would hinder us I shall say and my idea was if we arrest I think maybe James because while he does have decent plant skill uh, Python and Leslie can also handle the plant work but if we were to arrest James we could then work on converting him as a prisoner to our ideology and that would give us three out of four and then we could assign roles and then work on Garcia in a more normal uh, manner more importantly, however, at the moment, we have another raid from the God Rig. It looks like it's just two raiders. They are armed with a combat handgun and a shiv. Don't think they're going to make it too far. Obviously, the junglists are asleep, so they do have free reign into the base. But we do have five traps, six traps set up. So I believe we're protected enough to not concern ourselves too greatly with these two little raiders here so yes going back to james i think the the uh the option is the best option is or the quickest option would be to arrest him because while he's a prisoner we can work on reducing his conviction in his own religious beliefs supernova disturbance 
we don't have any long-range wireless power transfer or transmission, so that's not a problem. So the junglists actually decided to take out a bit of their frustration. Oh god. Of course, I didn't anticipate that because they went manhunter due to being harmed. They all then made a beeline for our colonists over here and they've gone ahead and triggered every single one of our deadfall traps. As we can see, it did take out quite a few of them. How many do we have on the map at the moment? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and that is it. We have one who is injured, who's about to bleed out, and another one here who is also injured, I believe. Oh yes, he, he he's in, this one is injured. Okay, it had a fight with a gorilla, as we can see. Yes, so shall we do that? Shall we arrest James? I think that might be the way ahead. Obviously, Python can't do the recruiting because his social skill is disabled, so he can't do the wardening. Garcia can, and she is our primary warden. However, if she was to convert James, she would convert him to her own ideology, which is the feminine cult. That's not something we want to have happen, so what we would have to do is suspend Garcia's wardening work priority and switch Leslie to level one priority. She is a member of the Undivided Collective, so if she was to recruit or convert James, it would be to the religion that we are looking for. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. It could be quite dangerous. James might not appreciate being arrested, as I'm sure you can guess. We've got a 40% chance with Python. 90% chance with Leslie. And what about Garcia? 100% chance. Okay, Garcia. Okay, what we'll do, well, let's mark this as a prisoner bed. There we go. So, Garcia, if you could arrest James for me. You will succeed, guaranteed. We know that. There we go. So, there we go. That's James now arrested. As I said, one thing we want to do urgently is this warden in priority. We need to disable it on Garcia and boost it for Leslie. Now, for the prisoner, what we want to do is convert. So over time, we will slowly start to break down his conviction in his own ideology and he will and he will join ours. That will give us free, so we can start assigning roles, and then we can really dive deeper into the ideology aspect of this. As we learned before, when we had to arrest Leslie, once this is done, we can just release James, and he'll join the colony with no ill effects. He might be a bit annoyed that he's been in prison, but he'll soon get over that. So yes, obviously the only downside to this is we lose James as a functioning member of the colony for the time that he is in prison. We have another raid which is quite alarming because we haven't yet reset our deadfall traps and I bet we've got junglists nearby, yes. Well hopefully some of our junglist friends over here will come and uh, handle these two for us. Although it doesn't look like they're going to. This one shouldn't be in need of food so I think we could get some deadfall traps constructed quick before the raid starts and I think we'll be safe from this jungle esque it's worth a try because otherwise we're going to be in trouble so let's allow use of that door and Python and Leslie I need you to come down here well come here first and we can test the water so to speak with the jungle esque if it does get a bit uh, aggressive we can retreat Okay, so it looks like we're okay. So let's now undraft Python and Leslie. And Python, work on that one. Leslie, work on that one. Okay, so they're already beginning their assault. So I'm not sure if we're going to get these constructed in time. We've got one, and that's going to have to do. Now we need you to get back inside. So the first raider is down. I think that now means the second one will retreat. 
no, they're continuing their assault. So what we're going to have to do, we have to deal with this manually. So let's get into some sort of defensive formation behind this steel wall. So the jungle is, is fleeing, as we can see. So we've landed a couple of shots on Riser. We've nothing landed in return, which is good. And there we go. That's the raid dealt with. While you're here, we need to... Let's just take a moment here. So your neocleptism. So we could convert you. What's your biography? Not great. The animals is nice, but we don't have any of those. Oh. Now this is more interesting. We could... Yes. Hmm. We could capture Riser. And if we use this room as a another prison cell, we could have two on the go at the same time. So we want furniture, sleeping spot. There we go. And this will be for prisoners. So shall we do that? Python, while you're here, you could work on some of these traps, I think. Uh, yeah. Leslie, you can be undrafted, asking Garcia. Leslie, you're our best medic. Out of the two of them, I think we want Riser. So could you stabilize Riser and then arrest her for me? Mm. Travelers hope for charity, so they want 75 silver. Okay, so we've had a fire starter. I did not see that. So Python extinguish a fire before anything else because that's gonna burn a major hole in our defenses come on let's get this fire put out before it spreads out of control which it already is how are we doing here rise at i think you're now in stable health yes so could you now capture Riser for me please Leslie go and see what are you up to you're just relaxing okay Python what are you doing never mind the steel spike traps we have a fire okay, we've nearly got it under control there we go now do what you need to do we don't have any spike traps up oh we want medicine we'll take the medicine and we may as well take the weapons as well. So we'll come back for those later. So there we go. That's Riser now captured. And once again, what we shall do is we shall convert. So over time, Leslie will work on both of these colonists to convert them to our ideology. Once that's done, we shall try and recruit Riser to the colony. And once James has been converted, we shall obviously just release him back into the colony and he should rejoin the fold without any issue. So that was a bit of a, a mad interruption that I didn't foresee happening. Two raids in quick succession. Thank you very much for that one, Randy Random, but it seems we were able to handle them quite nicely, so no major concerns there. Our rice field is almost ready for harvest, which is another good thing. Okay, there we go. That's all the medicine haul back. Thank you very much for that, Garcia. Leslie, what are you doing? You're trying to convert James. Perhaps you should uh, food food him. <laughs> yeah, food him. Feed him. That's what we want to use. That's a word. Feed him. Okay, so Riser's certainty is already quite low, so we might be able to get her in the colony first. Obviously, the problem with that is we then have to reduce her will and convince her to join the colony which is never an easy easy task but for that we could turn to Garcia and just make sure she doesn't interact with James that might be the ideal solution there it's gonna be a bit of micromanaging but I think you should work out okay Python how's your mood your mood's fine get down here and get some of these Spike traps sorted, please. So work on that one. That one. That one. And that one. 
just really up at least some of our defences back up and ready to go in the event of another raid, which as we've just seen there, is quite likely. So here comes Python to do the construction work. No, don't do that. Okay, we need more steel. Right, all these junglist corpses we want to disallow use because we don't want them being hauled back unnecessarily. We're not going to use them for anything. Ah, we've completed five quests apparently. Well, that's interesting. I did not realise that. I hadn't been keeping score. Leslie, what are you doing? Okay, you're up and about. Can you feed, wash, and then convert? In fact, and also strip her as well. That'll lower her mood, which will lower her resistance. So there we go. That's uh, fed, washed. Conversion attempt and also stripped off her clothing. Now, Leslie, you need to deliver some food to James to keep him as happy as we can. We don't want him to suffer too much while he's in prison. Garcia, you are just taking care of the cooking as per usual, which is absolutely fine. Leslie James is up and about. Could you try and convert him for me, please? Okay, so his certainty is slowly dropping. I mean, he does have quite a decent prison cell, especially when you compare his cell to Ryza's cell, for example. Garcia tried to convert Leslie. That's led to a social fight. Well, he didn't look like much of a fight. We've got a solar flare. No, in, no uh, ill effects will be felt by us there. Riser's resistance continues to drop. Resistance to conversion, I should say, not resistance to joining the colony. Python's fast asleep. And we finished the research of statues. Brilliant. What do we want next? I'll say we'll go for crossbow. Again, it's just something we could construct and sell to passing traders. James's certainty continues to drop as well, which is good. So pretty soon we could have two extra members of our religion, although Ryza would take a little bit of time to recruit into the colony as well. Python, you're harvesting the rice. That's fine. You can crack on with that. That is quite important. We, do, we don't want to waste any of our food. So how are we in terms of junglisks now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine of them. No other feralisks of any sort that I can see. And as we can see, we only have four adult junglisks at the moment. The rest are juveniles. And they seem to be congregating down here in the south. Which is fine. They can stay down there as much as they like. Okay, Python. Now that you're just idling, let's get you working on some of these uh, spike traps, shall we? What we'll also do, we'll get a good handful of this stone, stone, this steel flagged to be hauled down to our little stockpile ASAP, so you're not having to travel as far to work on the other ones that we have. Black Hive attack, well, it looks like we could be working on our little, diff oh god, they're very close. I don't know if you're going to be able to get back, get back, get back. Right. Leslie, wake up. We're going to need you. Oh. Well, how lucky were we that we repaired one of our deadfall traps? Because that's just took down the mammoth worm. So we can now undraft everybody. And Python, you need to get these spike traps up as quickly as possible, as demonstrated, because... Randy Randoms throwing things at us thick and fast today. And we don't want to be caught with our pants down. Get some more traps put together, please. We have a bit of steel nearby, so that's good. Just check he's not... No, he's only bleeding out in three hours, so there's no chance he's going to suddenly regain his mobility and attack as well. We're so close. I just wanted to make sure that was the case, and indeed it is. Right, so that's that taken care of. We need another grave putting down for this raider here. So let's do that. Miscellaneous grave. And you can go there. Leslie, you can 
do a bit of work on Riser, please. You can feed her and then attempt to convert her. Perhaps we better off actually trying the conversion before giving her some food, just because her mood might be a little bit lower if she's hungry. That needs to be hauled urgently, as there's some steel which is still flag to do. In fact, we'll get some more to be hauled urgently as well. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave this episode for today. It's been a bit action-packed and a bit full-on. Uh, two, two raids, a few junglists went a bit mad. And obviously we had a Black Hive attack as well. So, it's been one of those today. Thank you very much, Randy Random. Although we do now have a trade caravan on the map. So I think what we'll do, we'll handle this trade caravan first. Once they have departed, then we'll see about... And then we will wrap up the episode. But first we'll just go and conduct a trade if they have anything of interest for us. Let's have a look. So they'd take the Glitter World Medicine, but they wouldn't take any other weapons, which is unfortunate. In terms of things available for us to buy, nothing's really jumping out at me. So we'll just cancel that. Garcia can go back. Don't haul that corpse back, please. That's completely unnecessary and yes as I said we'll we'll end today's episode here I think let's get rid of that yeah yes it's been quite an intense one a bit full-on Randy Random living it up to his name and his moniker there so we didn't get as much done on the ideology front as I would like but we've made a start with uh, James and our prisoner here so over time, we should have two new members to our religion, which is going to be great. And then we can turn our attention to Garcia. So all that means for me to say is, as always, ladies and gentlemen, take very good care of yourselves. It's Tata for now.